Hi, everybody. It's Mark Russian and markrushin.com. It is, oh, it's early. It is Tuesday morning, June 22nd, 2021. A little chilly out there this morning. Was yesterday the longest day of the year? I can't remember. At least in the Northern Hemisphere. I don't know. This video is called Attack of the Cluster Bees. Attack of the Cluster Bees. And we'll get to cluster bees here in just a little bit, but I have to preface that video with the Yes, I'm on I'm on break from the day job. This is going to be a very short video. But this was I was processing this one in my head last night when I was doing some painting out at my late father in law's condo, uh, painting the deck, just uh, upgrading the paint a little bit to normal. <clears throat> it's got to be done, you know. It's got to be done. The deck needs to be painted. You got to paint it, and uh, and uh, so I volunteered to do it, and I'm doing it. Getting it done. Get her done. And a really nice, beautiful weather, last, except for, except for all the uh, the wind that was blowing. So I had to change what I was doing because I was getting paint all over me and everything like that. But that's good. It'll take a few more sessions to uh, get all that stuff done. But uh, you know, I, I like doing that sort of thing. I painted decks in the past, and you know, it's you want things to look nice. Because especially when they're going to be sold, because you don't want anybody nitpicking, you know. There's always somebody's nit. I need a deal, you know. <laughs> Let's move on from that's the monologue there. Attack of the cluster bees. I got a little story here before we get on to the cluster bees, but it 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 dovetails. I was part of an invite only group of musicians who kind of you know share stories about um, you know what we're doing as far as uh, different tips and tricks on how to get your music uh, out there and get it um, to an audience. Uh, the, the main thing seemed to be talk about getting fans, which I'm not really a, a fan of. <laughs> uh, I don't think, f I, for, again, as I've said in the past, I think fans are fine for certain bands or musicians, particularly live recording artists, people who work on a, on a local or regional basis or superstars, that's fine. But for those of us like me, there's a lot of us out here who just want our music and sounds heard. Uh, we just want to, you know, we, we realize that most, a lot of people consume music and sounds in, in playlists or algor algorithmic radio, it's a, it's a passive thing, and that's okay. I think we're accepting of that, that's fine. So just trying to figure out how to get into those systems and how to just you know, learn systems, learn processes. It's not, it's not about getting the cheat codes. It's about doing the right things, doing the things that bring you to that audience, right? Because if I didn't make videos, uh, you wouldn't see them, right? I, maybe that's not a very good analogy or whatever, but uh, so I, I like the idea of sharing things with, with others, sharing that sort of knowledge. And I'll say a certain amount here on, on these videos, but uh, yeah, I've, I've done it several times over the years and then this will be the last this will be the last because they always turn out to be a waste of time. And it's because typically you're dealing with people and I don't, I don't mean to be a snob about this, but you're dealing with a lot of people at a much, much, much lower level than you professionally pro am am <laughs> you're like, you're like, you're even dealing with the sub dilettante, right? You're dealing with people that are just like, hey, I really got a really great idea. And of course, it's, you know, it's the ice cream glove idea. It's the ice cream. Glove. Look it up. Google ice cream glove. And that was supposed to be a joke and everything like that. But there's a lot of people out there who have serious ice cream glove ideas. They're like completely serious about it. That's all I'll say about that. But. There's a lot of a lot of people that populate 
these forums to a certain extent where they they're just they're looking for the cheat code where's the cheat code how can i who can i pay what sort of ad can i buy that will bring me riches and fame you know uh so yeah this is that's the last time i do that and so yeah you go out there and you you know kind of qualify yourself you sort of explain you know you I've been I've been releasing music for this number of years. A bunch of stuff I publish under different names. I do these sorts of things, and then you get into you get into the things that you could tell they're kind of sneery about. Yeah, I have a PRO, and it's just like PRO. What? What? Yeah, yeah. I'm a member of I've been a member of ASCAP for almost twenty years, and it's just like <laughs> it's like deer in the headlights. What? What are you talking about? So the possum going out on the road, going, "Oh, I'm gonna, I'm going to die here." Uh, so you get a bit of sneering about that. Well, what, 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 how does that work? Or you say, you know, yeah, I have a, I have a CPA and I file quarterly taxes, and it's just, it's just that it, it's like they, they have a bunch of buttons right in front of them, like the uh, hospital on Idiocracy. They have a bunch of buttons, and they have to point to envy. They have to point to the envy button. <laughs> yeah, what I call this video again? Attack of the Cluster Bees. And so w- when you encounter those people, they don't understand the level that you're operating. And I'm not even at that high of a level, for God's sakes. I'm just I'm 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 just learning as I go along. Sorry if I've I haven't figured out the cheat codes. I'm figuring out how the game plays. I'm just a little bit more experienced at it than other people. If there's a monster around the corner, I'm, I, it, you, know, you got to be careful. There's a monster around the corner. You might want to be using uh, this weapon. Well, he's full of crap. and I... Something like that, right? It's time to go. It's time to go when you encounter those people. You just, it's, I, you see enough of them and I'm just like, okay, how did you get in? How did you, how were you let into the club? You're just going to ruin this place. It's, and you know you're not dealing with serious people. It's time to go. What's that? Oh yeah, I entered. I entered the game of pricks with knives in the back of me. Robert Pollard. That's that's such a good. I entered the game of pricks with knives in the back of me. Yeah. Or I took another brief dip into the indifference of fools. <sighs> little Bill Nelson there for you. So yeah, this was a moderated forum by somebody who, you know, I guess I, why don't you know better? Uh, so anyway, what was the thing that really, that what was the straw that broke Rushton's back? <clears throat> it was a post by a guy and this post got approved who was seriously asking whether it was okay that his friend Stream his track on Spotify all day long. Just repeat stream his track all day long. Do you think that's going to help me? Do you think do you think Spotify will notice? Like are you are you ser- do I am I reading this? This got approved. And what was the reason for the approval? Was it so that we could go and act like jerks and dress him down? I was like, I, I'm not here for that. I'm not here for that. That that this even got approved is just I'm bye. Next. No next, actually. This is next. If you're watching this on whatever service you're watching it on, you're the next. I don't know. But uh yeah. Is it okay if my friend streams my track? Will it will it? Will they notice? <clears throat> I don't even know where to begin with this one. But first of all, do you not understand that Spotify is a data company and that your distributor is a data company and that, you know, maybe, possibly, they have these little safeguards in place? You obviously don't work in tech. 
you don't understand that, you know, gee, are you the first person to, to have thought of this, perhaps? <clears throat> oh, and did you read the terms of service with your uh, electronic distributor and spot? Did you read the terms of service? That little bit in there about, you know, even if it's your friend, do you think that, do you think that Spotify can't tell that you and your friend are connected? Yeah. Yeah. They can tell. They can tell. Well, you know, it's just, even if it's just a few a day or whatever, or, you know, 50 or whatever, you know, they can tell. They can tell. I mean, I'll say this. I have been accused of this in the past. And uh, I don't know why. I think at the time they had implemented a, because there's, if you, if you look out, if you do a search for Spotify accused me of streaming fraud and I've not done anything, there's a, around a certain period of time, there were a lot of people that got caught up into probably a very poorly programmed algorithm or something like that. I don't know what it is. And the thing is, and it was it, obviously some automated service or something like that. And I don't, you know, if somebody is repeat, and here's the thing, Spotify, you can repeat play tracks on, on Spotify, but if you have an account on there, they know who's doing it. Right. And, you know, if you have your, you know, f friends, what are your friends listening to? You can connect the dots. It's not that it's not that difficult. Stamping out streaming fraud. So I got accused of it is a little weird. And then, you know, sent back some information and then everything was fine after that. But, you know, getting accused of something like that when you didn't do it is, uh, it's a little stressful, but then encountering somebody in like these, these forums here where musicians are supposed to be constructive and helpful and legit. And you, I'm reading something like, is it okay if my friend streams, do you think it's beneficial for me? Oh yes. <clears throat> that's the way, that's the, that's the way into the future. Everybody does it. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't want to be. I don't want to be, be part of that discussion. I don't want to be part of that group. Bye. And it just listen. I'm not saying every musician's dumb, but the, a lot of them are dumb. A lot of them are dumb. You know, if they're not trying to game their way, you know, they're lazy. They're doing drugs, drinking, generally wasting their talents, or they get stuck in a cul-de-sac. They don't even know. You know, somebody moved their cheese. Maybe they didn't even have their cheese, but somebody moved my virtual cheese. <clears throat> it's still early here. So that, that drives, <clears throat> that drives me nuts. We can't have community. We just can't have, oh, they can have their community. They can have their little community of cluster bees. I'm just, I'm just, I'm out here talking to the camera. I don't know. Oh, what is a cluster B? Let's take a look here. Yes, that's right. Cluster Bs, personality disorders. We're not going to go through them all here. Just, just real quick. And this is out the Mayo Clinic website. You know, you've got your cluster A's. Those are those are pretty troubled people. But cluster B. Seen a lot of this over the years. Characterized by dramatic, overly emotional, or unpredictable thinking or behavior. They include antisocial personality disorder, borderline personality disorder, histrionic personality disorder, narcissistic personality. We'll just briefly go through. You should know these. It explains a lot. So you get a little bit of uh, antisocial. Persistent lying, stealing, using aliases, conning others, repeated violations of the rights of others. Why is it 
How, why isn't fraud? <laughs> it's not really fraud, fraud. Consistently irresponsible. Lack of remorse for behavior. I, Gosh, I don't know. Your program lets me stream the track over and over all day long. Why can't it? Why is it? If you let me do that, if, listen, this, the speedometer goes up to 120. I, I had no idea. <laughs> I forgot murder was a crime. It's the old Steve Martin, you know. It's always, it always goes back to Steve Martin. Then you go, uh, then you got borderline personality disorder here, which is, that's, uh, whew. Then you start getting into, this is like more musician artistry stuff. Hist histrionic personalities, constantly seeking attention. Excessively emotional, dramatic, or sexually provocative to gain attention. I, I love this one. Speaks dramatically with strong opinions, but few facts or details to back them up. Criticize things you don't know about. That was that was in yesterday's video that nobody saw. Yes, yeah, speaks dramatically with strong opinions, but few facts or details to back them up. That is like that is the meat and potatoes there of uh, music journalism. So and so said something, and it's the most important thing in the world. So and so said something, and we must cancel them. Easily influenced by others, excessive concern with physical appearance, or not the opposite, I guess. Thinks, thinks relationships with others are closer than they really are. I knew him best, and I knew him well. Narcissistic personality disorder. Belief that you're special, and, and so special, so special. I gotta have some of your attention. Give it to me. Fantasies about power, success, and attractiveness. Failure to recognize others, others' needs and feelings. <laughs> Exaggeration of achievements or talents. Expectation of constant praise and admiration. Arrogance. Unreasonable expectations of favors and advantages, often taking advantage of others. Envy of others and belief that others envy you, yes. This is, you got a lot of, a lot of artists, musicians, art, artists in general get, get, got this one. Woo. So yeah, that's Attack of the Cluster Bees. What can I say? Everybody is in too many pieces. No man's land surrounds us. I don't know. I guess I suppose you have to find your own community, you know, but it's not going to be tens or hundreds or thousands of others just because so many people are operating at different levels, you know, like I, I sit here and I talk and explain what's kind of working for me, how this system works. Here's a new thing that might move the needle a little bit. That's, that's it. That's it. Because I don't, I don't know anybody else really kind of on my level to, to talk about this sort of stuff with. So I talk to the camera. I mean, somebody who is a signed to a major label, a big star, all that sort of stuff, that I'm not on the same level. Don't want to be. Uh, again, somebody who just released their first single, which is the greatest thing since sliced bread. Again, and they don't have a, they're not on ASCAP or BMI. They don't have a PRO. They don't file quarterly. They don't understand anything about the MLC. We're not on the same level. Oh, yeah, yeah. Can I get my friend to stream your track all day? Yeah, yeah, that's that's brilliant. Where'd you come up with that one? You're not going to last long if you uh, think that's the way forward. So, yeah, really, it has to, it, it has to be one-on-one. -on -one. You know, you have to tell your stories over and over and over again and, and build on them. New experiences, new things you've tried. Everything is an experiment. Everything is a, the only rule is work. I hate to kind of hammer this home, 
like I have been hammering it lately, but it's, that's where my mind is. That's, that's where it is. So yeah, one-on-one is difficult. Sometimes you don't even have that other one to, uh, to talk to, but I, the other one here for me is the camera right there. It's you, if you've stuck around this long, I don't know why you would, but, and this is, you know, it's just, just the, the camera confessional. So yeah, attack of the cluster bees. Yeah. I'm not going to, no more forums for me. That that's it. I'll talk It'll be one way conversation, maybe a two way. If I feel like that you're, understanding of where I am, where the level is where I am. But if you don't get it, or I feel like you just, you just want the cheat codes, you know, you just haven't earned it yet, baby. And I'm telling you now. All right. That's it for today. Back to the, back to the day job.